here with me. I was so nervous just getting ready for this show. I went out two sticks of deodorant. I bought two sticks of deodorant just so I wouldn't you know, come up here looking like I've been sweating like a pig. Lost a vote. So I had to borrow my wife's deodorant. So if you come up and smell me, I smell powder fresh tonight. So you know how powder fresh is. I'm nervous now. This is powder? Yeah, I'm nervous. So yeah, this is my first time. I'm really hoping this goes better than some of the other firsts in my life, like the uh, first time I had to take an airplane. Yeah, I kind of looking back at it, it deserved to get tased because I got up and out into the row I had to go destroy a bathroom. But you know, I'm sitting there thinking, how in the hell did my mother get a taser on this airplane? I had to freaking strip down, turn over, bend over, cough just to get a plane ticket, you know? Got this being you know, black, half Polish, I've got this nice warm Middle Eastern glow to my skin. I've got a first name that, let's face it, white people can't pronounce. You know, like, um, I, I meet all the criteria for terrorists, so every single time I get on an airplane, random security check. You know, it, it, it sucks too, it was really embarrassing. I was flying back from New York once, and um, you know, just out of curiosity, anybody here do laundry when they're on vacation? No, right? Anybody been to New York City? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been on the subway at 2.30 in the morning? Yeah, there's some sh stuff going on in the subway that'll make anybody mess their pants. So let's fast forward a little bit. I'm sitting in front of TSA holding my dirty drawers in front of my wife, God, the Chinese tourists. You know, it really sucks. So, uh, I'm, I'm nervous. You can tell, probably tell I'm stuttering and everything, but, uh, you know, nothing makes me more nervous than, than the ride over here. Because my wife had to drive, I've had a few to drink, and I swear to God, this woman has got to be the world's worst driver. The only reason why she hasn't made it on an episode of the world's worst drivers is because I don't have the heart to submit the tapes. <laughs> that and I'm the one who taught her how to drive, so it's partially my fault. But uh, she's 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 a crazy freaking driver. She's crazy to begin with, but she's a crazy driver. She believes that the the brake should be used and only be used as a last resort. So we're constantly in the car. Just, trying to get to the store. She's a horrible freaking driver. And she's crazy on top of it. She, uh, she suffers from this disorder called PMDD, which for those of you who don't know, is like PMS on crack, on meth, on caffeine. Just, yeah! Dude, there's times in my house where I feel like we need a new priest and an old priest to exercise the demons. But we have kids in my house, so that would be bad too. Anyway, this one's up. Thank you very much. Thank you.